Hello, I am Shannon Stewart. I'm a naturalist at Ramsey County's Tamarack Nature Center in White Bear Lake, Minnesota. And we are here today to talk about maple syrupine. And the first thing I want to show you is how we identify our maple trees. So March is maple syrup month. It's when we tap our trees and make some syrup. But the first thing we need to do is figure out which trees are maple trees. So I'm standing here next to a maple tree. One thing we can do is we can look at the bark. Um, it has kind of, the older trees have this kind of gray shaggy bark. The younger trees, uh, the bark is more smooth, kind of like an elephant leg. Um, so that's the first thing we look at. And the next thing we look at are the branches. Maple trees have something called opposite branching. And it's this really cool thing where the twigs come out from the tree they come out straight across from each other, like on this tree. And in our forest, the maples are one of the very few trees that do this. Most other trees have what we call alternate branching, where there's a twig here and then a twig down here. So that is another check that we have. And the third check that we have are these little red buds. Although if you look at to the top of the tree, you'll see they're a little bit bigger. Way up at the top of the tree, we've got two maple trees here next to each other that have a bunch of those red buds and those buds are gonna turn into flowers. And uh, we're getting pretty late in the season here and some of them are getting really big. They're gonna burst very soon and we will have flowers on our trees which signals the end of our season. So, so in order to make maple syrup, we need to get the sap out of the tree and into our cooking pans. So um, right now we have this great maple tree right here, but no way of getting the sap out because the sap is all inside. It's flowing just underneath the bark in there, um, giving the tree some food and nutrition to help it grow. So what we need to do is we need to put a hole in the tree to get the sap out of the tree. We have several pieces of equipment that we use for that. Um, we have what we call a brace and bit, which is basically a hand power drill, no electricity here. We do it all by hand. Um, this is gonna get the hole into the tree. And um, then we need to hang a bucket on the tree. In order to do that, we need our trusty hammer and a spile. This is the spile that we use. Um, it looks like, kind of like a little spigot. There's a little hole in the bottom where the sap comes in and then it drips out the spile. We hang the bucket on this hook and then we put this really great little lid on it. Oops. Using our pen, we put the lid on to keep branches and sticks and rain and snow and all that kind of good stuff out. So we're just gonna show you really quick how this works. So I've got my brace and bit. I need to pick a spot on the tree where it hasn't been tapped before. There's a lot of old tap holes on this tree. We see one there, there, there. They're all over the place. We tap this tree a lot. It's one of our best runners. So I need to make sure I'm not tapping directly above or below an old tap hole, or I'm not tapping too close. We like to have a hand span distance away. So I think I'm gonna go right here. And we need to go straight into our tree, about an inch and a half or so. And in order to get into the sap wood where the sap is flowing, and you can see I've got a bunch of sawdust coming out there. So we're getting into the tree and making some wood pulp. And on a good day, that wood pulp will be wet. It looks a little bit dry right now. So I don't know if this tree is actually running at this point. Uh, it's kind of warm today. We need it to be below freezing at night, which I don't think I got last night, and above freezing during the day. That causes a pressure change in the tree. When it gets above freezing, the pressure inside the tree rises and pushes all the sap out. So right now it's a little bit warm and it didn't get below freezing last night, so I'm not sure this tree's gonna be running. But we will see. We gotta clean all that wood pulp out because we don't want to plug our spile. So I gotta make sure it's nice and clean. All right, I've got a clean hole. Next to my spile, need to make sure it goes in right. The hook is hanging down. Oh, there is a little bit of sap coming out of this hole. I wanna make sure it's in nice and tight because I don't want it to fall out. So we'll just get that in there. And then we just kind of wait and see if some sap comes out. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. There it is, this tree is dripping. And we hang our bucket on, we can hear it hit the bottom. So this tree is dripping pretty good. Um, this bucket will probably be at least half full by the end of the day. We're going to put our lid on. It kind of slows down the squirrels and the deer who like to drink our sap. 
keeps leaves and stuff out. And there we go. And that is how you tap a maple tree. Then you just have to wait.